Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching or if you're facing crashing issue, if you're receiving Unreal Engine crash or fatal error. So if you're facing crashing issue, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to verify the game files. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, go to properties, go to install file, in install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to restart your computer after this just restart your computer once and after the system restart check still not working the next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio files so scroll down here you can see x86 and x64 file you have to download both the file x86 and x64 click on it and then download this second file as well and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click, click on yes to allow run this x86 file as well if you see repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both the files are installed once installed then restart your computer restart is a must after this so let both the files complete and then restart your computer restart is a must after this after the system restart launch the game still not working the next step is to remove dx11 from the launch option so uh, make a right click on the games go to properties it, over here if you are trying this dx11 and uh, then you might face problem so for example you can see the error over here you will receive this error so do not try dx11 in you will receive all these kind of error so in, in instead you can over here you can type in dash dx12 uh, you can try this and then check and this time you should not receive this error you should be able to launch the game so here you can see the game is launching let me close the game for now now still you are facing the problem in that case uh, you can remove this from here if that does not work you can remove this from here follow the next step now still not working you can rename this slpcl.dll file now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder over here open the engine folder now open binary uh, sorry plugins folder and then open Grim third party folder and then open this streamline core folder binaries third party win64 over here you can see slpcl.dll file so copy this file create a backup first once you have a backup created now you can rename it or you can even delete it or you can rename it so i will just rename it once you rename or delete this file you can launch the game and then check if you face any problem you already have a backup you can put the file back if you face any problem now the next step is to rename or delete the config folder all the saved settings will be lost when you delete the config folder so for this you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder now open the local folder now open tq2 folder saved folder over here you will see config folder so create a backup if you want you can just copy this folder paste it to the desktop just create a backup once you have a backup created you can just delete this folder or you can even rename this folder and once you rename or delete it now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia now over here on this website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find and on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver at the very top geforce game ready driver right now the version is 580.88 whichever is the latest uh, you have to install the latest one so click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run the exe file now when you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here 
and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next once the installation is done then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to amd card users go to amd website first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer go to amd website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings over here and then click on add desktop app over here and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder here you can see the game folder so this is the location in my case and then select the game exe file open tq2 folder binaries win64 select this tq win64 shipping file click on add once the game is added find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game over here for gpu preference set this to high performance and you will see your graphic card over here now you can launch the game and then check desktop users make sure that you connect the hdmi cable or, or the display cable to the dedicated graphic card now if your computer has a dual graphic card one is integrated one other is the dedicated one in my case the intel one so make sure that you connect the graphic card uh, sorry the display cable or the hdmi cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not to the motherboard slot because we, that has intel graphic slot so now still not working run the game from the game installation folder now for this make a right click on the game select properties select manage then click on browse local files open make a double click over here try to launch the game from here if that does not work open tq2 folder binaries win64 and you will see this exe file make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click on this exe file go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator click on apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game and then check still not working in that case this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to windows allow the gaming exe file to windows security so if you are using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add and allowed app browse all apps and then open this tq2 binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on open and then now you can launch the game and then check do the same thing in control panel so open control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open and then click on add in my case i have already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open this tq2 binaries win64 select this exe file and click on open now click on add in my case i have already added the game now once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to now if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to the antivirus program allow both the exe file and then next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box open control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to power options over here in my case i have only balanced option in your case you might see this power saver so select power saver over here and then launch the game and then check you can even go for balance and then check you can even go for high performance check which one is working fine for you now also if you are using this intel tuning utility software intel extreme tuning utility if you are not using you can install it search in google install it and then go to performance score ratio if this is set to like 58x or 59x you can try 56x or maybe 55x or maybe 54x 
try to lower down performance score ratio and then hit apply and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory now for this type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings now over here under advanced click on the first settings and then go to the advanced tab over here click on change uncheck the box which is automatically manage paging file and then select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size now initial size will be 1.5 multiplied total RAM so you can check total RAM on your computer go to settings and then you can go to system and then you can go to about option and then you will see your total RAM in my case it's 16 gigabyte so we have to convert this 16 gigabyte to megabyte so 16 gigabyte in my case if you're if, if it's 8 gigabyte you have to calculate accordingly as per your RAM so in my case it's 16 multiplied into me we have to convert this to megabyte so 1024 that is total megabyte is 16384 megabyte multiplied 1.5 for initial size multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for initial size 24576 this is just an example as per my RAM you have to calculate according to your RAM and the maximum size is 3 into total RAM total RAM is 16 in my case multiplied 1024 to convert it to megabyte and then 3 times total RAM is maximum size it multiplied 3 that is 49152 49152 now you have to click on set set is important click on set and then click on ok and then ok and then you have to restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working again type in view advanced system settings in windows search box click on view advanced system settings and then go to advanced uh, tab work, uh, first settings and then click on advanced tab over here click on change this time select system manage size and then click on set set is important and then click on ok ok you have to restart your computer apply ok ok and then you restart your computer and then check still not working you can just put everything to default the way it was before so you can just go to settings once again uh, advanced tab and then change and you can put a check over here automatic manage paging file click on ok okay okay again restart your computer and then check next step is to close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner running revert unit running close it disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game if you have any other overlay application running like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings and turn off overlay nvidia overlay if you have any external devices which you are not using disconnected disconnect all kind of usb adapter which you are not using disconnected unplug all the hot like if you have any external devices like hotas wheel pedals any kind of, sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnect extra controller extra dongle connected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have overclocked your computer set overclocking default and then close all the overclocking application if you have any third party application running uh, any kinds of application software running close it close it from the task manager as well if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version this is very important so go to windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed download and install it and then restart your computer once installed and then you can launch the game and then check the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local file uh, sorry click on uninstall now after the uninstall restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to different drive like d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on a windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel